Now we'll see our next question. So a block of mass 10 kg. Again, I'd like to remind you that is questions are not wordings are not perfect, might not be perfect. So this is what is the thing I got, but uh, it might differ. Values appro approximately would be correct, and concept is 100% sure shot. Okay, fine. And uh, before going into this, once I saw this question, I was actually overjoyed because. Uh, IIT Madras, while they were uh, having their organizing time during 2011, they had the same type of concept. So once you are aware of that and uh, once, I, once I saw this actually I was very happy because many of my students would be able to solve it very easily. Uh, same question, same concept, uh, I guess somewhere about the mass would be about some 1 kg or 0 0.8 but the concept everything was same, minded, get, tends to repeat the concept and not the question. Fine, we'll solve this very easy. First, a block of mass 10 kg is placed in a rough surface, which means it has a friction, and a 10 Newton force is applied in the horizontal direction. Then, value for friction force if coefficient of friction is 0.2. They are asking for the value of friction is at that current instant. So, as usual, draw a free body diagram. Okay, if you draw a free body diagram, so we have a 10 kg mass, a normal force, uh, external horizontal force and uh, so this is normal this is horizontal 10 Newton so if it's this is pushed in this direction we have a friction force in the opposite direction which is mu n okay so this is the free body diagram very simple just solve it as such so n is mg so m is 10 g is 9.81 which gives us 98.1 Newton. Okay, so this is normal. So our mu n would be mu is 0, coefficient of friction is 0 0.2. So 0 0.2 into 98.1. So it will give me somewhere about 0 0.2 into 9.81. So it gives me 19.62 friction force. Right. Do you think this is the answer? Obviously no, because this is the force which is required to move the mass. Okay, but right now, uh, is this amount of force applied over here? No, it's not going to move at all. This 10 Newton force, it's being resisted by what? Friction force. Okay, so obviously at this current point of time, friction force is going to be 10 Newton only because this applying this 10 Newton this mass is not going to move at all that is the main concept the applying this 10 Newton it is not going to move and if it's not going to move that 10 Newton force where it is going either it has to go uh, through heat or something of that sort right in this case this 10 Newton force is getting resisted by friction force which is of value 19.62 it will not allow it to move you can't just push it off okay but this 10 newton force being resisted and as a result at this particular point of time friction force is going to be 10 newton and this is the same concept was repeat uh, we had it had this in 2011 and they have repeated it in 2019 after eight years of gap so if you could start making up brushing up with the concepts you could really solve this like anything so we'll see in the next question